So we'll just give it a minute for a few more people to come in. And I brought this beautiful Kopal area yesterday, so I want to inaugurate it today. So we're going to be in ceremony and healing maybe for the next 45 to 60 minutes. Set the intention from now that this is our space, our time. And just start to arrive in this present moment. We'll give it maybe another 30 seconds before we start. <sighs> With the sacred kopal, we're saging, cleansing, clearing all that does not resonate in our current time space reality cleansing and clearing cleansing and clearing releasing lifting away all negativity all toxicity all fear just lifting away it's so nice to see our soul family coming together like this on such a powerful day are you guys excited for the solar eclipse today? How are you guys feeling? Let us know. We're feeling so good right now. We're feeling so supercharged. We're feeling so aligned <sighs> with our higher self. And we're feeling like this is a new day. This literally feels like a new beginning for all of us. It literally feels like Mother Earth is hit hitting the cosmic reset button and giving us all a fresh start. And I'm feeling very happy and rejuvenated about this. And I'm so happy, Soul Family, that we're all meeting like this. So, so happy. And you know, when Saman was saying it's a new day, I literally feel it even in my beingness. Even as I was getting ready, I picked up this silk kaftan that I had bought two years ago and I was putting it on. And my higher self's like, no, that's not your look anymore. That's your old look. So I put on this, which I just bought. And then I was putting on my lipstick. I never, ever wear red, meaning it's like a long time since I ever wore le red lipstick. And literally, my higher self's like, pick up the red. And so I just feel like this new version of us is coming online, and it's so tangible, is it not? It's like the, we're no longer the person that was born to our birth families. We have shifted and evolved so much, and it feels like today is that portal where we walk through as the new galactic beings not the human beings that we were born as but the galactic beings that we are and we are so happy to be joined by so many of our beautiful soul family and i think it's a good time to get started love you guys so much so you start i'll grab I some agree. water eldora does look hot doesn't she <laughs> so let us know where you guys are calling in from what time is it over at your end of the world and according to the official timings, the solar eclipse is taking place as we speak. It started about an hour ago in the USA, directly above the USA. And it's taking place, so we timed it very well so that we could hold a sacred ceremony during the peak of the solar eclipse. And our main intention for today is to set very, very powerful prayers for humanity, prayers for ourselves, prayers for our future generations, and to clear all of these negative karmic timelines that have existed on planet Earth, that have kept, kept humanity stuck in a small state for so long, and it's time. I feel humanity is coming to the time of our graduation. We're letting go of playing small, and we're really stepping into the powerful Christed beings that we are, and we're ready to take responsibility 
we're ready to take power back and we're no longer going to consent to our power being siphoned away from us on this planet. So that's our main intention for this ceremony. What's your intention? Yes, please comment and let us know because when you place an intention and you say it out loud, we have so many people from New Zealand, South Yorkshire. Oh my God, that's amazing. And so many Australians come to our events. It's so endearing to watch. There's so many of our soul family in Australia, really all over the world. So please, as we type, start typing in your intention because today is a very, very powerful portal, a great day to be setting intentions for ourselves as well as for the collective. My intention is to stop playing small. My intention is to truly embody the enormity of who I am without making any excuses. My intention is to really dial up the notch and show up in service to others while activating the crap out of myself and lead, living my highest, most joyful, most expanded life, heaven on earth, creating that right here, right now. And it is my intention to channel the most pristine source primordial frequencies in this transmission that we will all share in the next 45 minutes or one hour to really help you feel activated, light, clear, and lift off many of the confusion that you might be feeling. Because before we even get to the part where we do world prayers and intentions, we want to give you guys a bit of a clearing and then we're gonna cancel contracts and all of that. So it is my intention to just spend this time with all of you soul family today in this sacred, beautiful setting. And for those of you who are not aware, Eldora and I are quantum Metatronic healers We've been downloading this modality directly from Archangel Metatron for the last decade or so, and it has helped us skyrocket in our ascension. And today we're going to be giving a free uh, entity and parasite removal healing to everyone who's attending. So just make sure that you're in a safe space where you will not be disturbed and just turn your, well, turn any disturbances off. Yes. So this eclipse, a lot of us are feeling the energy of it very tangibly. And when we downloaded what the most important significance is, what we were shown is that the 144,000 frequency is truly activating on planet Earth and starting to connect with the Christ consciousness grid that Jesus, Yeshua, left for us in the pursuit of our, basically in, on our journey back home to Creator. So this Christ consciousness dodecahedron was just built by um, Yeshua when he walked planet Earth as a template for all of us, the light bearers who are here right now on a star seed mission, on such a beautiful mission to help humanity by remembering ourselves, our divine galactic origin and heritage, and in doing so, inspiring so many millions of people around us to help them as well basically start our journey back home. And right now, the 144,000 frequency is very active in the planets. It doesn't matter if this frequency is within you for 5% or you're fully activated and you have 95% of your 144,000 frequency. It doesn't matter what the spectrum is, but what the message we're getting is that this 144,000 frequency has very tangibly started to activate on the planet and connect with the Christ consciousness grid because now it's not just Yeshua who did all the work for humanity. Now it's every single one of us who are adding to this grid. And now this grid is becoming a force field. It's becoming a quantum force field that is more powerful than anything this planet has ever seen. And literally, this feels like the antidote to all the craziness, all the fear mongering, all the madness. This is the antidote. And it is very, very powerful what's happening, you guys. Yeah, and the reason I'm smiling from within right now is because I can feel the power of all the light workers who are joining this life. I can feel your power, and I'm talking to you. Mm. I can feel all of you. I can feel our one heart united as one tribe <sighs> in one love, in unity, where we are remembering that we are the 144 chosen soldiers of the army of God. Who are the 144,000? You are. We are. We are all 144,000 chosen special unit forces of God. 
And the 144,000 is a very special frequency. And the closer you get to this frequency, the more your powers activate. Like literally before this live, I was saying some prayers and I was feeling so powerful very. with this frequency that's running through me. Yes. I felt like I can move a door with my hand like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> or I should say like Obi-Wan, not, not the dark. <laughs> like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like Obi-Wan. Yes. <laughs> Let's God, say honestly. So the 144,000 are like an army of God. We're the soldiers of God. And the closer you get to your personal integrity, where you have let go of all your bad habits, your addictions, you're in, in integrity with your soul, you're in, in, you're in integrity with your physical balance, you're in integrity with your emotions, you're not sending hate to others, you're just in the state of love and compassion and forgiveness towards others. And you're also in integrity with your thoughts. You're not thinking sleazy, controlling thoughts towards others. You're thinking, how do I fit into this grand cosmic puzzle that we call humanity? How do I shine my light and share my gifts so that we can make this world a better place? When we come into harmony with all aspects of who we are, then we are truly embodying the 144,000 frequency. And that happens when you don't have a shred of doubt left within you. You don't have, you look around and you're like, wow, I've, I've done my homework. I've, I've, I can certify that I have, I'm ready to graduate now. No one else is going to certify you. No one else is going to time you like a coach and say, get off your ass. It's you. You have to be your own coach. We, we did this for ourselves, and now I'm telling you, all of us have to be our own coach and hold ourselves accountable to living the highest principles of integrity, honesty, um, just being a good person and being good to yourself and others. It's simple. You don't need a religious book to spell it out for you. We have all of the codices encoded within our DNA. And today, many of these codices are being activated. Today, the Sirius B Feline Collective is telling us that they're blasting and anchoring high frequency Christ consciousness crystalline codes into the grids of this planet. And that's going to activate the 144,000 Christed frequency even more. So whoever is ready to rise up, whoever is ready to make a change and shift and live their most abundant, joyful life, and you're just ready to stop playing small and claim your dreams and just make the difference that you came here to make in the world, that's what it's all about. We need movers and shakers. We need yes. leaders. Yes. We need people who can... Um, Cast a vote. commit and show up yes. we need people who have had enough and are fed up of these cycles of misery and we're letting all of that go in our past and we're yes. moving forward as sovereign divine human beings who are the guardians of this planet we're taking our roles my yes. my friends we're, we're taking we're our positions our we're stepping into our yes. positions now this is what uh. it's all about and you know even on our path we've had all these steps and it, it literally feels like an invisible force is guiding us. That's not very far. It's an invisible force that's right here. And as you progress on your spiritual journey, many initiations, many milestones are reached. You will receive robes of light. Great honor is bestowed upon those of us who are on this planet committed to doing our light work. And when I say light work, it's not just about light and healing the planet, not just about healing others, not just being outward oriented but to really reflect on what within us needs healing. Because right now, this is what the planet needs the most right now. And before I go in, I just want to uh, share a very quick message that's coming in right now. Source, Prime Creator, is reminding all of us right now what it feels like to be Source, Prime Creator. What I'm being shown is, let's say, this is source. This is this represents this force we feel that's just called source. Just for just for an analogy, what source is saying is that I am just here in complete awareness and awe at everything that I am doing in this universe through the billions and billions and billions of sentient beings. And in this state of awareness, I'm not judging myself. 
I'm not thinking this is right, this is wrong. I'm not constantly looking at my mistakes and blaming myself and going into guilt. I am simply in a state of complete neutrality and awareness. And Source wants you all to know that that is what we are all aiming for because we're not here to constantly criticize ourselves and get stuck in that realm of criticism. So what are we going to be doing today? I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown. So we're going to start by creating a very powerful sacred temple. We're going to go deep with this temple because of how powerful this portal is. After that, Siman and I, for those of you who are new, Siman and I are trained quantum metatronic light technicians and healers. We've been offering healings for 10 years, individually, one-on-one, -on -one, as well as through groups. We work with very powerful light beings. Metatron is our main mentor. We have Melchizedek, Yeshua, Isis, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Sekhmet. And recently, I had a very powerful encounter with Bastet, who I had never, ever heard of before. And she connected with us in Egypt as a black cat. And recently, I had a major higher self merger when Bastet's goddess energy walked in through me. This was about a week ago. And so a lot of this is going to start <clears throat> happening to you if it hasn't already, where these masters, these beings of the light start connecting with you at various times to give you the activations you need that you're ready for. So what Siman and I are going to be doing is <clears throat> we're going to be giving you guys a healing, a quantum clearing, because I feel like there's so much gunk in our auras that this gunk needs to be lifted off before any of the real work can even take place. Siman and I give ourselves a healing every single day. We start every morning giving ourselves a healing, and that's how we're flying through this ascension. We're not drowning in it. So we're gonna give you guys a bit of a clearing, a massive clearing, because we have a lot of beings here, and in the ceremony, in our, uh, when we create the temple, we're gonna call in more beings, so you guys can feel it. It's going to feel very tangible. For those of you who are new to our container, you might after the healing, decide to take a little bit time off and just go in nature because you will feel very activated at the end. Resting is the ideal thing. Going in nature, lying under a tree is even more recommended Or today. taking a salt water bath. Because what's going to happen in the quantum healing is that by doing what we do, we're going to be working through astral parasites, psychic wax, and doing a lot of clearing. And then we're also going to be running some flames to give you just a general uh, clearing and lifting and whatnot. So it'll so for you to absorb this, it's important that you just don't go back to regular life after. And I uh, also wanted to mention that the modality that we use for this quantum healing called the quantum metatronic healing is going to be available for everyone to learn. Our, one of our main soul missions on Earth is to bring this, um, bring this new healing modality through us and to teach the masses because this single-handedly is the biggest tool of our ascension so far. It has helped us skyrocket through timelines. It has helped us jump into the next level of our financial sovereignty. It has helped us multitask in our business and go uh, handle like so many big projects at the same time. Like right now we have our House of Ra festival we're planning. We have our Egypt tour we're planning for 2025. At the same time, we're planning quantum metatronic healing to be released this fall. We have a almost sold out plant medicine retreat coming up in Bacalar in two weeks. <laughs> We're planning an online uh, ancestral healing on Zoom as part of our New Earth Mystery School membership next week. This so coming Saturday. All of this we're doing, we're juggling like huge boulders, but we're able to do this because in these higher Christed frequencies that are coming to Earth, it is imperative that we clear our fields and raise our frequency to match the vibration of the solar codes that are coming in. And when you start absorbing these solar codes, when you really know what, uh, how to clear yourself and expand your aura and get rid of these entities and parasites that are constantly sucking and siphoning your energy, you're gonna go next level in everything you do. You're, no matter where you are in life, you're gonna be next level. You're gonna be leveling up a few steps further. And it's, uh, we've done all that we can with our mind. Now it's time to, enter the realm of the quantum field and see how many infinite possibilities exist in the higher dimensions that we have not even tapped into yet. We can tap into higher guidance, we can channel messages, we can navigate through complex business issues or life issues with ease because we have like this supercomputer connected to our higher chakras and guiding us every step of the way. So guys, this may seem like science fiction, but this is happening now and we're, we're ready to teach this. Yes. 
So for those of you who are like, oh my God, like this is literally what I've been waiting for all my life, I hear you. This is the kind of people we attract. We attract those of you who are ready to make these massive jumps and not play small and take lifetimes. So how do you make sure that you don't lose out on any information that comes out through us? It's very simple. You go to our website, which is nems.love, so www.nems.love, and just add yourself to our mailing list, which is at the bottom. So that way you'll make sure that you get every single newsletter that we ever send out. So what else are we going to do? We are going to do, this is actually going to be the most powerful part of today's event. And I want to commend every single one who's showed up. We have about 600 people in total here between the two platforms and many more will watch the replay and on YouTube we're going to post it as well. But many of you have showed up live with us, which is powerful because when we are live, and the angels and the masters are all going to be joining us. They're already here, but they're going to be officially joining us. The Tulum elders will be joining us. What's going to happen is we are creating a powerful force field that is amplified by 144,000 because it's not just Siman and me or just you doing it in isolation. Okay, so it's very powerful. So the most powerful thing of today, water? Yeah. You fill it up a bit. Is that we're going to be doing a quantum clearing of contracts that we have made with the dark. And this is very, very, very powerful. You're going to feel it in your body, in your cells, because as we release it within us, we release it in our reality. So I highly recommend that you absolutely stay till the end, because this is your service. This is our service, and this is really... Um, also our gift. This is our, our gift. We're receiving this healing as a gift. Yeah, this is our service, and Siman's reminding us, we're, this is also our gift. They are coming in the higher realms to gift us all this healing. So a reminder, if you're not already there, to come with a space of reverence and gratitude and just such deep respect and reverence that we have so much help on our path. All right. Do you want to do a quick solstice update or do we move into the, um, I think, a, a little bit about the solar eclipse? Yeah. Or are you, are you we'll give a brief update on the solar eclipse. Okay. So, um, Today's solar eclipse is a very rare occasion. Um, scientifically speaking, this kind of a full-on solar eclipse is going to come 20 years from now next. So um, this is a very historic... 20 years? 20 years. 20 years. Just 20 years. So 2044 will be the next big full-on solar eclipse, as I've been told. And the main theme of this solar eclipse that we've been getting is that this is a cosmic reset. So what that really means for you in your life is that no matter who you are, what part of what stage of your life you're in, how old you are, what your experiences are so far, it does not matter. What matters is that Earth is going through a big cosmic reset right now. And this is going to allow us to upshift our reality into the next level of whatever that means to you. If you're stuck in, um, in a job that you don't resonate with, you're going to be able to find the willpower and the creativity to expand and create the life of your dreams. If you're just starting out in life and you're not sure what direction you're going to go in, your soul is going to start aligning to your higher self and mm. you're going to start getting direct guidance from your higher guides and angels and wisdom keepers from the Akashic Records. You're going to be opening up to higher levels and higher dimensions no matter where you are in life because the cosmic flow is opening up, the Christic rivers are opening up, and our dimension on planet Earth is being connected to all of the higher dimensions. And the dark portals are being closed right now, although there's dark attempts to hijack this reality through experiments of CERN and these bogus missiles that they're firing. But all of this is just a desperate attempt to hijack a reality, and they don't realize that it's not even possible to hijack this reality because Christ consciousness is already has already been anchored on this planet. So what this solar eclipse is doing is simply hitting the reboot button, starting everything back up again, and it's us, humanity, as a collective, claiming back our sovereignty and taking power over our reality. I love that. <clears throat> okay, so we are, move that thing a bit out of the way. Actually, I'm good, I'm good. You can stay seated. So we're going to create our sacred space now. And I was guided to bring out my Hathor bowl. This is, I have a, this is a bowl that I was guided to buy when I was in Sedona two years ago. I was having a major initiation with goddess Sekhmet. 
and the Hathors mm -hmm. that started channeling through me. I had voice activations. I started singing. I started light uh, language and whatnot. And today we're just going. And today we're just going to use this bowl to transfer. This is a gold-plated bowl. This is actually 24 karat gold-plated. It's got a very, very high frequency. I bought it in Sedona in crystal tones. So, this so first we're going to set up our sacred space. We're going to set up our sacred temple. And the Hathors are a lineage of sound-healing priests and priestesses. They exist in the seventh dimension, and uh, they connect with humanity Anyone who is interested in pursuing their ascension path can connect with the Hathors and receive guidance from them. And they're ex excellent, expert quantum sound healers. So you will receive their channel frequencies that we are sending out right now. All right, beautiful souls, my beautiful soul family, my beautiful family of the family of light here on earth, incarnated at the most historic times this planet has ever seen. I'd like you to start taking some slow, deep, cleansing breaths now. start by all collectively chanting three ohms. So take a deep breath in and just exhale normally now. Exhale. And let's take a deep breath in and exhale to ohm. We'll do three ohms. A deep breath in. And we'll say an invocation to bring back your energy into this present moment now. So close your eyes and place your hands on your heart.
again, placing your hands on your heart. And the drum beat is used as a psychic ward uh, tool to release any entities because the drum sound is a very powerful shamanic sound that releases entities from your field. And this is just a precursor to the healing we're going to do. So just feel the drum beat as if it's sending vibrations into your heart. So once again, placing your hand in your heart on your heart and closing your eyes and just receive this. Say the following inv invocation. You can say it with me out loud or in your head. Taking a deep breath in through your nose, out from your mouth. Again, in from your nose. And one final deep breath more than the rest. And say the invocation, I recall. I recall. All parts of me. All parts of me. Back to myself. Back to myself. Right here. Right here. Right now. Right now. I recall. I recall. All parts of me. All parts of me. Back to myself. Back to myself right here right here right now right now and feel all strands of energy coming back towards your heart center from all directions all dimensions all people you've given your energy away to one more time and one more time i recall i recall all parts of me all parts of me back to myself back to myself right here right here right now and right now and so it is and so it is so just take a moment to absorb that we're now going to set up our sacred temple <clears throat> We have a lot of quantum tools here that we're going to be using on you. We're going to be using a mix of galactic tools, shamanic tools, our own personal vogels that are master manifestors. This is a master vogel crystal. This is a 144th sided master vogel crystal. And it is um, it carries 144,000 frequency. That's what's being anchored on the planet right now. And it's a very rare crystal. So Vogels find their way to the owner. And even when we bought this five years ago, Metatron said to us that your Vogel's coming. The guy who we bought it from literally said that when I got this Vogel, I just knew that I had to wait for someone to claim it. And this is not a size that is, you know, made, made um, in masses. It's a very special Vogel and it contains a master frequency. So we're going to be using a lot of these powerful tools. So let us start by creating our sacred temple. <clears throat> and I just want you to receive. This is your time to do nothing but just receive and melt into a receptive state. Because the more receptive you are, the more powerful this healing will be. <clears throat> I call forth the Pleiadian emissaries of light for an interdimensional cone of light. And as I call forth these cones, these giant multidimensional cones are placed right above our aura, our space, our hologram. And what they do is they look like an inverted ice cream cone and they literally suck up and they, act, they suck up all negative energy and they activate a powerful force field around your space. 
I call forth the Syrian emissaries of light for an evolutionary cone of light. I call forth the Andromedan emissaries of light for an intergalactic cone of light to be placed around our aura, our space, our property, our hologram. And I ask for an earth cone to be placed below us. And now connecting this earth cone all the way down, down, down to the very crystalline core of Mother Gaia. We now call in, you may want to call in some of your own masters. I just ask that you always ask for masters that are in the fifth dimension of light or higher and not work with um, your relatives and whatnot who've just passed. We always call in fifth dimensional beings of light and higher. So, and as I call these names, you might start to feel them coming into your space. So start tuning into what frequency you feel as each of these beings start to come in. We call in Kuan Yin. We call in Yeshua. Mother Mary. Mary Magdalene. Saint Germain. Lord Metatron, Lord Melchizedek, Sekhmet, Divine Father Thought, Mary Magdalene, Sanat Kumara, Divine Father, Goddess Hathor, the Elohim of Love. the seraphim of the highest light, Osiris, we call him the Karmic High Council, we call him Lord Ashtar Sh Command. We call him Mother Gaia. And we call upon the overlighting Deva of healing and protection to preside over, over our temple. We now call in the eye of God to surround us, surround our space so we may cut through all illusion. We call in the heart of God to surround us so that we may be encapsulated in the frequency of unconditional love. We call upon the sacred geometries of all the temples of light from Atlantis, from Lemuria, from the ancient civilizations of light of Egypt, to surround us now and support us in our evolution. We call in the 12 primordial archangels Archangel Michael, please surround us now. Metatron, Sandalphon, Gabriel, Gabriel, 
Uriel Shamuel Zadkiel Raphael Jophiel Christiel Haniel and Jeremiah and we ask for 12 highly activating highly protective highly potent pillars of light to be lowered around us around our temple around our sacred space and we ask for these pillars to come from the realms where the ascended masters dwell and we state that only those of a divine frequency may enter our space and we command all frequencies not serving the light to leave immediately now we call in the light council of ein sof the 36 high light councils We call in the Council of the 24 Wise Ones before the Throne of Source, the Councils of the Halls of Amenti, our beautiful spiritual guides and mentors from the Order of Melchizedek, from the Sisterhood of the Rose, Great White Brotherhood, Great White Sisterhood, and the High Karmic Council. And of course, we call in the beautiful Earth Elementals to come in and support this beautiful healing on this very auspicious day. If there are any of your personal guides that you guys want to call in, now's a good time. Just state their names and feel them coming in with so much love. So Archangel Michael, please seal this space. We ask for your sword of truth to just cut through our space, cut through our pillar of light, cut through our prana tube and just clear, clear, clear all illusion, all lower density, just completely lift off. And you guys can feel this, feel Archangel Michael's sword of truth spinning in light speed through your central column now. Going up and going down. And this sheer light and power of this column just completely transmuting, breaking up, transmuting anything that no longer serves your highest good. Thank you, Archangel Michael. We love you, we feel you, we, we feel your love all the time. We ask our beloved Kwan Yin and Mother Mary to please pour sacred Christed waters through all our nadis, through all our sacred spaces now, and just to raise the vibration for the healing to follow. <clears throat> and we create our Metatronic temple, lowering a Metatron's cube into our space now. Lowering, it, lowering Metatron's Markaba. Calling in the white-winged feline collective of Sirius B, the Markaba experts. To please come in and help us all activate our Markabas for this profound and potent healing today and create a very, very powerful manifestation vortex <clears throat> that is felt from planet Earth as a signal, a signal, a vote that we are sending out today 
April 8th, 2024, from the heart of the planet, that we are ready to claim our sovereignty. We are ready to claim our galactic heritage. We are ready here to claim our thrones as the gods and the goddesses of the light that we are. So feel Metatron's cube starting to spin and Metatron's Merkaba starting to spin at 9 tenth the speed of light. These powerful beings of light, the Sirius Lions, Archangel Metatron, feel their Merkabas spinning at 9 tenth the speed of light. creating a very powerful amplification of this sacred vortex. And to seal in the space, place your hands on your heart and say the words, our sacred space we now create. Our sacred space we now create. Our sacred space we now create. And we are in ceremony now with all of our beloved angels and beings of light and all of you beautiful light workers from all over the world, you badass warriors of light. Thank you for being here. And let's say a powerful invocation, first of all. So once again, place your hands on your heart, close your eyes and feel the words as I recite this invocation and you may want to repeat it in your own mind. You don't have to repeat it. You can either repeat it or, or absorb it. Dear pure source, creator of all, I call forward all of the divine gifts and sacred instruments as I open to receive these Christed frequencies, I release all attachments to outcomes, all limitations, and all things holding me back from my divine soul mission. I am ready here now in this moment to receive my divine solar activation for my soul. I am ready to receive this divine solar activation for my cosmic soul. I am ready to receive the activation of my crystalline light body. I ask for my crystalline DNA light codes to be activated with the highest frequencies of the photonic solar light that is penetrating all of humanity through this eclipse today. transmuting and liberating the infinite potential of divine sovereignty held within me. I walk into the illumination of the crystalline being that I am. I remember who I am. I have returned as the Christ itself. I am awakened to the luminaries of light I am receptive to the plasma morphogenic fields that are flowing through my mind, body, and soul, activating galactic unity love consciousness within the depths of my soul, activating the pure liquid divine light of Christ consciousness within the essence of my heart. 
I am an ambassador of love, here to return heaven to earth. I am the embodiment of the cosmic Christ consciousness of the highest light in this universe. I turn on and activate my crystalline Christed light body now. So be it, and so it is. And so it is. We're now going to be canceling some contracts that we've made with the dark. So as I read out some of these contracts that we channeled, we tuned into it this morning and we channeled exactly what contracts are in place that we need to cancel. Of course, there's a lot more, but these are the most important ones we were shown. And it's literally to say, I do not consent. So what I want you to do, or I invite you to do, is as we cancel these contracts, you're going to imagine an A4 piece of paper with these words written on it. And as I say, Saman and I are going to be saying these contracts out loud. And as we say them, what you're going to do is you're going to literally take a red rubber stamp. It could either just be red ink or it could be a really gooey, um, like a gooey liquid, wax seal. like a waxy seal. And you're going to, as we're saying it, I do not consent, as we read it out, you're going to be going to cancel, 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 cancel. So what you're doing is you're canceling these contracts that you may have made with any extraterrestrial dark beings knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, in this lifetime or not in this lifetime. And you're using your activated throat chakra, you're using your higher heart chakra to send a powerful command saying, I do not consent. So once again, as we read this, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be literally seeing these contracts evaporate and be nullified as you hit cancel, 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 cancel. You can just do this with intention. So let's start. And by the way, just how the dark do their dark rituals, we're using our white magic as a collective to counter all the dark rituals that are being done today to hijack humanity's power. And we're taking back our power with these powerful affirmation so really put your heart and soul into this all you have to do is listen with your heart open with your ears open with your mind clear without any judgment see if the words resonate and if they resonate with you if this is something you wish to cancel using your imagination just take a rubber stamp and hit a red cancel onto these words yeah and after today if like at the after this ceremony if you want to share this Facebook or this Instagram or whether it's on YouTube, if you want to share this, I invite you to channel a post with your own vote, your own words. And literally you can say today for Solar Express, I attended a white magic ceremony where we canceled contracts where, with the dark, where we took back our power, where we received a quantum healing. And invite your lightworker friends and other friends and family who you think might be also ready to cast their vote, who might also be added to this momentum, this ball that we're bringing. Because I feel like your vote and your words need to be, you know how sometimes we just share? I'm being shown, share what this meant to you. Share what this meant for you. And start using, if this resonates, like we, this is a full-fledged white magic ceremony. And these are things that are coming back to this world. Saman and I have been doing angel ceremonies and white magic ceremonies for 10 years, 11 years now. And they have, we've had life-changing magical, like when we call in the angels and masters in sacred ceremony, it is extremely powerful. So you're being re reminded to own it and not be shy anymore, not live like the old you anymore. Because as you start to claim who you have become and who you are becoming, others like you will be magnetized to you, okay? All right, so we're gonna start and you guys are all going to be canceling this as we say it. <clears throat> I do not consent to being controlled by anyone, any person, any entity, any corporation, my government, my religion, any machine, any being, except directly by my individual and personal higher self. What is 
I command that any extraterrestrial negative implants, J seals, devices placed in my body, my chakras, my hologram, consciously or unconsciously, in all time space reality, be removed immediately. I do not consent to them being in my space any longer. I do not consent to the use of military grade psychological operations and false flags that are being deployed against the population of planet Earth to incite division, classification, violence, and hatred towards any human being with the purpose of hiding the crimes made against humanity. I do not consent. I do not consent to planetary harnessing and surveillance structures and methods that track me, my whereabouts, my activities. I do not consent to collecting data on me or seek to predict any influence on my consciousness or my decisions without my knowledge or awareness. I do not consent. I command that all superimposed karmic loads in the inverted and reversal systems of the AI are now immediately and fully terminated. I do not consent to the human sex trafficking. <sighs> and child trafficking. And enslavement system that have been placed on earth against our collective free will. We do not consent. We do not consent. I do not consent to any artificially created diseases being used as biological weapons against humanity. I do not consent to laws being created behind my back that are aimed to hijack my freedom and sovereignty. I do not consent to harmful medications being injected into my body. I do not consent to a legal system that attempts to override my God-given rights my sovereign rights of freedom, of peace, of joy, of living in harmony with nature and living in alignment with my highest joy and highest bliss. Oh. I reserve to make medical choices for myself and my children. I do not consent to the subtle 
mind control and hypnosis targeted towards children through violent video games, sexual nudity, porn, brainwashing through media, society and the public school systems. We are claiming our children back now. We are claiming the innocence of our children back now. I do not consent to the Orion-based financial slavery system of the inverse matrix that is being used to hijack my financial sovereignty. I repeat that, it's a big one. I do not consent to the Orion-based financial slavery system that is being used to hijack my financial sovereignty. I am a free citizen of planet Earth, and I do not need to pay any government, any corporation, any amount of money in exchange for my basic and God-given sustenance on this planet. I do not consent to GMOs and synthetic materials passed for food these days. I claim organic food, clean, pure drinking water, clothing, and shelter as my God-given right, and I claim all of this now. Uh -oh. Activating the financial, activating the abundance grids on this planet, connecting to the Christ consciousness grid and really activating the abundance grids on this planet as we claim our space as divine co-creators, not here in poverty, not here in lack, not here playing small, not here being victims, but today once and for all taking all our power back from all space, see all of your power coming back from all dimensions, all directions, all time space realities, all parallel realities into your now moment. And as you do so, look at yourself in the eye if you have the option, or maybe do it later. Look at yourself in the eye and I say, today I stop playing small and I take back my power as I activate my joy, my abundance, my freedom, and I step into my sovereignty once and for all. I do not consent to Luciferian and satanic entities running our mainstream religious institutions. We do not consent. We do not consent. We demand the release of all technologies and all patents that are being held back from humanity, including zero point energy. Med beds, replicators, and all suppressed technologies to be released to the public domain for humanity to benefit from. I hope. We now put the dark on public notice. The public notice that we collectively issue today, on this day, April 8th, 2024, from planet Earth, we are all making our voice crystal clear. Hear me now. You can say this out loud, everyone, if this resonates. Hear me now. All Luciferian and satanic entities and AI hybrid collectives playing the anti-human and anti-Christ war game. You are now served 
and irreversible and irrevocable notice of permanent and immediate eviction the notice has been given we the light workers on gaia have spoken irrevocable and irreversible notice of permanent eviction and evacuation has been issued now by the i am power that i am and so it is and so it is Before we go any further, if you guys want to say anything, should they say it now or at the end? I think, yeah. yeah. We can take a two-minute break. Let's take a two-minute break. Comments. We'll read some comments. Let us know how that felt. And then the next part is the quantum healing. Oh, I love it. Yes, very, very powerful, guys. Yes, you're so welcome, Matt. And so it is. What? How are you guys feeling? Let us know in the comments. You know what? I'm so excited about the fact that how this planet used to be just run by dark rituals all of us light workers are now beginning to come together on these powerful portals and just <laughs> shining our light so bright on this planet <laughs> like when i was closing my eyes and eldora was saying those words like i do not consent with my vogel i was amplifying these words and literally painting it all over the planet in huge letters for everyone to see and it felt so empowering you guys how did you guys feel through that process it feels like Oh my God, we're unfuckwithable. <laughs> we're truly unfuckwithable when we remember who we are, you guys. And it's so amazing. This is just the beginning. Yes. We haven't even begun yet. We haven't even begun yet. This is just the first phase where we're reclaiming the powers and let's get the party started. Oh, everybody's sending so much love on all on Instagram and Facebook. We have almost a thousand people watching live with us. And this is a very, very um, thank you all so much for showing up. We didn't do a lot of advertising or promotion of this. But those of you had to hear it just heard it and you showed up. So this is not a coincidence. So now we're going to go into a quantum healing. Now, for those of you who've just joined, Siman and I are Metatronic quantum healers. We work on the quantum field and we find that this healing modality is the most powerful thing we've ever witnessed. We feel like we can move uh, so much through this very simple healing modality, but it's very cutting edge. It's very multidimensional. And we're going to be launching this in a few months for anybody who wants to learn this healing modality, either to heal yourself fully and ascend or who wants a thriving career as a healer in one of the most cutting edge healing modalities, we're going to be offering a course on eight, actually seven Sundays, starting maybe February or so, but we'll open up registrations now. So there'll be seven Sundays where we spend all day on Zoom and people will come from all over the world. There's already people who've put down a deposit from Australia. So we'll just be on Zoom and we're going to teach you this healing modality and have you partner up with your partners and we're taking this all the way because this feels like it's our gift. This is Saman's and my gift, just like the angels have given us this gift of healing. This is something we want to pass on. And somebody asked, is it similar to Theta healing? No, it's not at all similar to Theta healing. This is a completely um, new modality that we've been downloading over the last 10 years. And um, what I see happening is that this is going to create so many financial opportunities for people that people who are just letting go of their 3D jobs and looking for building their own business. You can easily be working from anywhere in the world with a laptop as a quantum healer and you could be raking in 15 to 20K a month. USD. Yeah. And that's with taking weekends and a few days off during the week to do your admin thing. So we're going to be running some Zoom calls explaining how all of this works and all of this goodness is coming soon. And you know, this is what, if I look at Simans in my life, we have a lot of great things going for us. Like we are madly in love. We're not just, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. We're literally a cosmic couple. We are soulmates. We're a cosmic force. We're a cosmic force, the yin and the yang. Like, and many of you know, 
we saw two years ago, we saw a very powerful um, Akashic reader in Sedona, and she didn't know who we were. She had never heard of us. We walked in, and she's very, very well known. In fact, she does a lot of um, Egypt tours, and she has very high-level permissions in Egypt, and so we're good friends now. And she said to us two years ago, she said, do you guys know who you are? And we're like, no, what are you talking about? And she said, you're Akhenaten and Nefertiti from Egypt. And I didn't even know who Akhenaten or Nefertiti were. They, I, I had no idea. And she said, you guys were in ancient Egypt as very, very, very influential people from the Ra family, from the law of one family. And you were there as representatives of the light from the mystery schools of thought and Isis and Osiris, some of the highest mystery schools on this planet, the order of Melchizedek, the sisterhood of the rose. And you incarnated in ancient Egypt as Nefertiti and Akhenaten, madly in love to teach people that idol worship is not needed and the dark, you know, pharaoh worship is not needed. And Akhenaten was the only pharaoh that actually gave his queen Nefertiti equal rights as him. And that's what they were known for back then. And it makes so much sense because that's what our relationship right now is. It's complete equality. And Siman literally treats me like the goddess. He takes because so much right. care of me <laughs> and he's so that's sweet. That's what you deserve. And it literally feels like, so we were not successful in that lifetime. In that lifetime, we were overthrown by the dark because it was in our time. And in, subse in subsequent uh, healings, we've been shown, we've literally had clear memories where we were in the palace. Siman and I were not together. Siman was with our older daughter. I was somewhere else and the dark attacked us. They walked in through the palace and we were all, we, we died. And we have vivid memories of this. And when we went to Egypt this time, there was this one island that we went to. Do you remember that place? It was the Ark of the Covenant. No, there was this one island that we went to and we were walking there and we literally felt like we've been here before as Nefertiti and Akhenaten. There were quite a few sites, yeah. And when we, and so guys, we're actually going to also be taking a group of you to Egypt in 2024. It's going to be the House 25. of Ra. 25. Sorry, 25. House of Ra 10-day Egypt tour, where we'll be taking you to many of these temples, like the Karnak Temple, the Temple of Dandara, the Isis Temple, and we're going to be channeling some very powerful activations to really, my God, I have goosebumps, to really, really activate us, and this is very much part of our divine service, and... Um, not only that, we're also going to be act reactivating some sacred stargate portals in Egypt as a group of powerful light workers. So if you feel called to participate and add your light to this cause, all of us light workers are coming together once again. We're going to go to Egypt. We're going to go right up to, to the halls of Amenti under the, uh, that's by the left paw of the Sphinx. We're going to go to all the sacred uh, vortices that very few people know about. And we're going to be doing a lot of light, light magic, white magic, to reactivate those grids with our, <laughs> with our frequencies. And uh, this is going to up-level the timelines for all of humanity. This is very powerful work, you guys. And this is what we came here to do. And for those of you that are feeling a call to Egypt, you just know that you are meant to be there because you are pre-coded, your soul contracted to be there to do this work, not just for humanity, but for yourself. So it feels like we have work to do. That's what I keep hearing. We have work to do. And so I'm super excited for that. Okay, so let's um, get into our entity and parasite removal healing. I invite, at this point, if you feel like uh, lying down and receiving this with your eyes closed, that's completely fine. If you feel like sitting up and receiving, just uh, be fully comfortable and relaxed yes. in your body. So let's take a moment for you guys to all be comfortable. Yeah, just take a few deep breaths and bring your energy back into your own body. Taking a deep breath in through your nose, fill up your lungs to their limit and breathe out of your mouth. Once again, deep inhale through the nose Filling up your lungs. Hold. And out from the mouth. <sighs> and we're creating a temp um, vortex of violet flame, a purple flame. So imagine a purple flame around you, just in front of your aura. And as you're breathing out, all of the darkness and heavy energy is just being burnt to ashes in this flame. 
So we're setting up this flame in front of your aura now. And take one last deep breath, more than the others. Hold. And let go. <sighs> Feel the release of everything that you are ready to let go of now. And just let your body relax. And we're calling upon Archangel Metatron to create a powerful temple of light around us, a healing temple of the highest love, power, wisdom, knowledge, grace, beauty, compassion, and light. Calling upon the temple healers to join us now. And you may call your own personal guardian angels into your space and feel the frequency of these beloved beings surrounding your aura now. See their loving faces of all of your angelic guardian angels smiling down on you. Feel the frequency of the ascended masters and all of the beings of light that are so graciously joining us from the higher dimensions of light from this universe coming into the space and we're asking the metatronic temple healers to create a metatronic med bed around you so what this may look like it could be exactly what you want it to look like so imagine a chamber of light that is enclosing your entire body now. It's like a golden cocoon. And it's cocooning you with golden light from head to toe. And all you have to do is relax and receive these frequencies. Relax and receive these frequencies. Allow this frequency to permeate your crown now. Many people were reporting some heaviness in the crown and that's because of the solar flash that's taking place with the eclipse. So we're gonna first ease up this headache, nausea, and any ascension symptoms being caused by the intensity of the light coming in. And we've created a holo hologram for this group healing. And you'll feel everything that we're doing in this holographic field of oneness because it's happening as if it's happening in the same room as you. So we're working on your crown chakra, opening up your crown a little bit, allowing more light to flow in, clearing any lower vibrational astral parasites or entities in the crown open your crown chakra open up your crown chakra and allow this light to pour in like a golden trickling light golden trick trickling light pouring on the top of your head and going into your crown, into your head. You can feel it like a liquid honey-like substance entering your pineal gland now. Clearing your pineal gland, clearing the calcification, clearing any unharmonized thoughts. Harmonizing your thoughts. Any panic energy, any survival fears or stress is being released from your field because this is just energy. And you'll begin to feel your head feeling lighter as the light starts flowing in through you. Just allow this.
and you're enclosed in a Medtronic med bed where we activate the program of entity and parasite removal. Entity and parasite removal program activated and feel like the whole med bed starts vibrating like a like a buzzing machine it's sending frequency waves throughout your aura you may see holographic sacred geometry you may see patterns or waves or you may just feel this tingling sensation in your body or you may experience nothing at all just pure bliss and relaxation Activating entity and parasite removal from all chakras. Activating the Metatronic Sword of Light. Clear your central column of light. Clear your pathway from the great central sun down to the core of the earth. And you can say this invocation with me to command all entities to leave now. By the power of the I am presence that I am. By the power of the I am presence that I am. I command you to now immediately leave. I command you to now immediately leave. My body. My body. Aura. Aura. And hologram. And hologram. From all time. From all time. Space. All space. All dimensions. All dimensions. And all parallel realities. And all parallel realities. Anything less than divine must leave now. Anything less than divine must leave now. And so it is. We are so thankful for this powerful healing. We're going to cover our auras with a one inch thick coat of golden liquid light to protect our auras against any negative interference. So imagine as if a golden sun is shining above your head. And this golden sun is 
three or four feet above your crown chakra. And it's shining very bright, like the intense brightness of the sun is right above your head. You can almost feel the etheric heat of the sun present above you. This is God's source. This is love. This is unity consciousness. And the sun begins to melt like candle wax and turn into thousands of golden raindrop showers of the most healing frequencies. Thousands of golden rain showers, golden rain shower of Christed divine light is falling upon the surface of your aura. And imagine the sound of rain shower in your head. And as these rain, golden raindrops fall on your aura, two or three feet around your body in all directions, they form a one inch thick golden liquid shield. Bask in these frequencies as they gently soothe your soul for the next minute in silence. And make sure you cover all the way to the back of your aura, beneath your feet, your lower back, behind your legs. In all directions, all holes and cracks in your aura are being sealed up now. And now imagine as if, imagine a ball of light, one foot below your feet and it starts spinning at the speed of light. Ball of light, one foot below your feet, starts spinning at nine tenths the speed of light. And it starts emitting rose petals into your aura, filling your aura up with rose petals, thousands of rose petals flying through your aura removing any unwanted energy into each petal and the petals are flying out of your crown chakra into the fire. With every in-breath, a new batch of roses are coming in, swirling, swishing, removing all negativity. And with every outbreath, they just re get released from the top of your column of light and a new batch of roses come in from below your feet. Each of these roses has the energy of all those who have hurt you abandoned you. Any negative energy of any other being in your space are being transmuted now by these roses. Just let it go with your intention. Let it all go. And as you do so, I want you to now claim your space. 
And how do you do that? Push your aura out by an arm's length, whether it's far out or too close to you, either way. Bring your aura at arm's length around you, to the front, to the sides, above you, below you, behind you. This is your aura, your auric space, your personal space that no one else has access to. And from this point on, if you feel someone's energy, unwanted negative energy or unnecessary thoughts coming into your space, you simply take this energy with your intention and you place it outside your auric space. And so today I want you to feel your auric space. It's been cleansed, it's been transmuted, it's been upgraded. Just take a moment to feel your own auric space now. Feel its vibration. And you may want to speak out loud and state out loud, I claim my divine space now. I claim my sacred space now. So what has happened energetically is that you have just created brand new boundaries for yourself. How do you wish to be treated? How do you wish to be talked to? Nothing that is not allowed by you can come into your space now. And it's up to you to keep this space pristine and clean. And slowly allow yourself to get back into your body now, bringing your awareness back into this room and we thank all of our angels, all of our beautiful team of light, all of our guides, all the interdimensional beings, all of our tribal elders, the indigenous tribes, the earth tribes, the elementals, and all of the middle realms and lower realms. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your divine service, for this powerful healing, for helping us reclaim our power and sovereignty. And I take a moment to thank every single one of you as well for showing up today, for hearing the call, for taking time like this off your busy days. I know that life on earth can sometimes be intense. So many distractions, so much fear mongering. And today you took the call. You made this decision to show up. And I have so much gratitude for every single one of you, soul family. We are truly a soul family, a soul tribe that has incarnated with a soul contract of just being the innocent versions of our Christ itself. For being here in joy, off joy, with joy, and just sharing our codes with the world. It doesn't have to be hard. And today we return to our innocence. Today we return to our innocence. May it be so for the highest good of all. <sighs> and so it is. And so it is. Mm, that was beautiful. Let us know in the comments how you guys are feeling. How did you guys feel that healing? Tell me who felt what. I would love to hear. We love you too, all of you. Aww. I feel so much love oh, coming I in. Oh, I love that. She says she felt roses just as we finished. Wow. You read this Instagram, I'll read Facebook. Oh, this, you're so welcome. You're so welcome, you guys. Raphael's here. Amazing. Beautiful, you guys. We're sending you so much love as well. For any of you who are like, oh my God, I want more of this frequency and you didn't come in the beginning, everything that we offer is on our website. 
which is nems.love. We have a, so www.nems.love. We have an ancestral lineage healing um, coming up this Saturday. So if you want to attend, go check out nems.love, you'll see it. We also have two spots left for our upcoming mushroom medicine retreat. And this is where we go deep. This is, for those, this is specifically for those of you who know that you are ready for a quantum jump. This is for those of you who are looking for an expert container like none other that you know can support you and hold you for your massive transformation that you just know you're ready for. This is for those of you who are ready to do the work, who are ready and accept that when you get back home after the retreat, you're not gonna be the same person that walked into that retreat. So if this is you, go check it out at nems.love, nems.love. We send you so much love, soul family, and uh, please share this ceremony with the world. It's so important for people, more people to come in prayer and ceremony like this. With all our love, until next time, bye we everybody. We love you guys. Take care, everyone.